James uh, seems to have offended Elon Musk himself. (laughs) So tell me, tell me a little bit about this tweet. (laughs) So what happened was, as you noticed, I didn't tag Elon in this tweet. (laughs) But I did in the universe. So fair game, Elon. I agree. Fair Fair game. game. Free speech. Fair game. So what has happened? Let me set the stage for you. So, you know, Elon was tweeting about how this was going to do Chuck's complex left turn. This was not meant to be a shot at Chuck in any way. I just called it that because that's how it's referred to in the in the release notes. Sure. And yep. And I'm like, oh, great. So, I mean, if they're ta- in my head, I'm thinking they're tackling these complex lefts. Some of these right turn issues I'm seeing, it's going to be a really good release. So I go out and I do my drives and it, it, it's forgive. Forgive me for sounding like a downer here. It's just the truth. It can't make a simple right turn. It keeps missing right turn lanes. It's it's going too late. It's I did a video showing it after this tweet where it tried to make an illegal right turn after missing the right turn lane with cars actually doing legal rights. So I was frustrated and I tweeted this just because I'm like, it's all well and good that you focus on this complex left, but if you can't make it do a simple right, what's the benefit yeah. of a complex what's the point? So okay, so just quickly, because we, we have a lot of, m- most of our audience is actually from podcasts without video. So just to read this yeah. real quick. Just, so James tweeted, he said, unfortunately, I have to say, I'm still having to intervene to correct FSD beta 10.69 in my area. Still lots of work to go. I know this is probably not a popular opinion, but the focusing on the Chuck complex left is getting ahead of the needs of some more basic control issues. I think that's a fair... You know, criticism, I thought so. right? <laughs> yeah. So again, you're you're not saying that you're not happy with FSD beta. No. You're not saying that they shouldn't be continuing it. It's just, no. you know, there are need even more on... simpler scenarios yes, yeah. that are not working. Um, yeah. To me, it's like building a foundation of a house. You want a really good, strong foundation before you build up. It feels like this is my personal opinion, and just and not a complaint for everyone listening. It's like we jumped ahead to the top, like something really far out there before you solve. And I'm not a neural network scientist, so maybe that's not an issue. But it's just interesting to me how they focused on that before some more basic things were working smoothly. So unfortunately, what I'll say is, and I can't, you know, I do not work for Tesla. I have no inside knowledge into how (laughs) Tesla works. Yeah, Um, I do. I do have. (laughs) A lot of you know expertise around machine learning and such, but my my understanding is they a, a lot of this, and this is not a Tesla jab. This is true of Waymo, yeah. of Cruz, of all of them. How they're solving a lot of these edge cases are glorified if statements in the sense of they're yeah they have neural nets doing a lot of really cool things, and then as they as the edge cases, they're kind of solving them in more traditional means. Okay, because they can't get the neural nets in the way that they have them to necessarily handle the edge cases without losing how good they work in the general yeah, case. Um, and so what I think the problem as you're describing it is really, unfortunately, due to the publicity that Chuck had generated, you're right. They kind of jumped up, up, you know, to, Hey, let's solve this one when there are other ones they also need to work on. So, yeah. um, but that's not to say it's wrong of them to fix that one because well, they need all. to fix all of them, right? No, so not obviously, at all. Right. Right. Not at all. Yeah. Right. So, uh, so Elon responded uh, okay. to your tweets. Okay. I want to I want to read Elon okay. because go, I got go, I go got ahead. a comment. Of, I got a comment about Elon. <laughs> yeah. You know? So much like James, you know, I sat and waited for months, paying my two hundred dollars to get into the beta. All right. Because of all the buzz, as you say, Lewis, all the buzz was really building this thing up to be a really great thing. And the very first day I took it out was a big disappointment as far as buzz versus reality. And I know there's a disconnect on that. There always is. But still, it was a lot more of a disappointment than I was anticipating. So Elon's response back about James's very useful comment was 10.69 is in limited release for a reason. Please do not ask to be included in early beta releases, then complain. One, I'm paying to be in the beta. That was the end of the tweet. Now this is Mike's right. commentary. Right. Yeah. I'm, yeah, dear Elon, Elon, I'm paying to be in your beta. I'm not begging to be in your beta. I'm paying good money to be in your beta. Two, it's a beta and you need the feedback. If you don't like the feedback, don't bother with the beta. It's that simple. I mean, that's what we do here. We're, we are the enthusiasts. We are the ones that are willing to go out there and beat on the software and report back to what works, what doesn't work. And if we're told something's going to work and it doesn't work, yes, you're going to get kind of pointed feedback about it. 
I think our producers were about to show Mike Savin on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> no, just, no, just, just kidding.